Welcome back to the Castle Grounds Apiary. Today, the first concrete Castle Grounds hive breaks free from the bee bunker bondage and we get a hands-on look at what these things are really made of. What's our method going to be? We need to tip it this way. Oh my god, Justin. What is it that heavy? Is heavy. It's only 200 pounds Dude, of concrete. That's got some weight to it. <laughs> yeah, because now it won't break if we drop it on that. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's something. We can do that. We can use your blanket that you got there. That's a lot more. Do you want to? I don't know. I just. I, th this is the heaviest one we'll have to do, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we might as well. Might as well, yeah, might as well, and just for safety's sake. Just so, because I worry, because I don't want to use my finger. All right, you ready? Yeah. So I'll tip it that way. Okay. So what I was going to do if I was by myself is I was going to take two four by fours, two by fours, and strap it to this and cinch it down real tight, and, and then flip it over, oh, okay. and the tight strap's off. That would okay. take what? a lot longer. It's going to crush my legs. Hang on, let's get it down a little yeah. lower, lower before we shake. A little lower. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm scared. Okay. Well, here, let me go on this one. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. Now. Is it? Okay. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh. So it is coming off. Oh, it is coming off. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. dang. It looks pretty really nice, dude. That's, That's just oil that's left it dark. That looks, that really, looks really, really sharp. Dang. I think, it, I think one of the things is just making sure you paint it with oil. Because look at that. That looks like we knew what we were doing. Dude, that looks good. Yeah, and there's barely any air hole. I mean, there's just a few. Pretty pleased. The legs are a little more porous. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. I but like with it. it being fiber crete, I mean, with the fibers you put in it and stuff like I mean, every, oh, hi. Well, well that, that has to break away. I mean, that has to break away. You got so scared. God, I yeah. I was scared. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of how that would pull out, but same. <laughs> so, because there's gonna a hole's gonna come out through here, right? Because that's where it touched. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's, that's gonna be so thin it'll break. Yeah, we'll see about that once we. Okay, so what do we do? Oops, that kind of went over. So I do. Let me see. What... I just thought we'd get to hold it in the air for it, so I was like, if I can just give it like a little... Well, it's not that heavy. Okay, yeah, that is. Let's see, it doesn't want to... Damn, sorry, hold on. Just the method of the wood. There we go. It's breaking off where it's thin. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, lay down for a second. Let me, God! Let me chip it off. <laughs> well, we could put a block under there and just hold itself up. Oh, God, I'm seeing stars. I, I was kind of wanting to knock it right here just to see, but is that, is that where that matches up at? It feels like it does, but I guess it, yeah, that's not in the instructions. Damn. I think I got all of it pretty much edged off. It's a pretty clean line. Look, I'm going to break it. Yeah, no, well, there's lips on that too. See, that's a whole, that's a whole lip. So if you want to knock that off. Well, I feel like it's grabbing from the other side. That little thin part comes off real easy, just tap it, but that's how much it's covered. So you do have a lot covered. Oh wow. Yeah, so it's, you may just tap it, just tap it on those. You have a big lip over there too. And it comes off pretty easy. I can't tell where, where it's finished. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Then I kind of just scraped with the sharp point along the lines, you know, because it was like, it, it made it start to come off pretty easy. So I was like, oh. Okay. This may be the uber experimental part. Cause I can, well, do you think if we put turn on its side that would? No, it won't harm it. It's, it's pure concrete now, so we could definitely. It's a solid, ready to get raw concrete. Okay. Yeah, see, it's got like a little there. Just hold it in. 
There's that for you. Maybe it's. I mean, it's got a lot of flex to it. Do you think there's a way to? Oh, I'm pushing it. Screwdriver or something, and give it like a little bit of a. Oh, oh I feel it. Oh, it come out. Oh, my. Nice. Take that off. There you go. There's someone break the plastic. I think. Yeah, no kidding. That would be a real bummer. <laughs> we got one hive out of this. These things. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Okay. These things I feel like you could 3D print almost. You know, like if we had a bigger 3D printer. Well, I can make that out of wood. Replacements for them or whatever. But, you know, if they hold up. And Which they might, they were manhandled them on some of the videos. I've seen. Yeah. That's nice to have a ridge to do what I want. When you're dropping it back down instead of just the flat part. Okay. One down. I think maybe this will, if, if we could stand up, this yeah, maybe. Let's just stand it on its back. How about that instead of me trying to hold it? Okay, there you go. I'll Okay, so we got the entrance for me moldy guy out and we have to oh and that little thing is keeping it from going open up the bigger part because that's obviously a little too skinny for the bees we have to use something to knock it a little bit or clean it out a little bit you can see where the ridge is like right there but i think that's keeping it from going that comes off oh does it really it, it just unscrews you have to hold both sides. Oh, okay, you got you got that. You oh, sure? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Damn, which way do you? I haven't taken it off in oh, a few years. <laughs> oh, it controls the depth. That makes sense. Yeah, I never even seen that. You use that when you use that as a spacer to yeah. line up your shingle lines. That's nice. All right, that'll let me. Ain't no mouth getting in there, I tell you that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also don't know about an entrance booster getting in there either. Yeah, their entrances were, I thought when I looked at the video, they were bigger than this, but that's the size though. Like when you look at it, for, it's almost like yeah, it goes this way. That's, that's the 3 8 for sure. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really nice, dude. This is freaking awesome. I mean, I guess we could file that if we want to, to do it a little clean, but that's it. Like, what's funny is it's not this way. It's like they go down a bit. If you look at it at this angle, look how wide it is. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Sweet. All okay. right. Fuck it up. Yeah, now we just got to get the... Okay. On to the... Do we just want to put this one over that way? Yeah. yeah. I think we've got to figure it out now. What's worse yeah. going to happen? Sure. Maybe put a blanket down. Say, well, if you want to, we can move this one off this blanket now. Well, we got a bunch of okay. dirty blankets around here. I just don't want them to get too oily. Yeah, I think about that. Face first. You wanna, we can put it back open. Oh, 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 there we go. Yep, that's it. Oh, 
Right in view. Is it recording? Oh, I thought you were recording. Sorry. I can't remember. It is recording. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be awesome because it's gonna. Okay, oh, so sorry. Oh, honey, so we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. How are you grabbing it? Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Is that you? Yeah. Lean over here. Oops. What happened? Oh, it, it chipped the chunk oh, into the... I'm sure that broke it clean. All right. You ready? Yep. How do we got to lift it? Like, uh, get our hands with this? Well, this should be safe to hold oh, right here. Yeah, the edges will be. Way easier, but I, I adjusted it where that's actually going to be a fine view in there. All right, come around this way, that way, neither of our butt cracks are. Oh, that's fine. Oh, damn, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Just kidding. I was like, I was like, no way. All right, that's that's like this. No, oh, we're too far forward, are we? Well, oh, it's supposed to overlap. It. Oh, damn sorry. We gotta come back towards you about half mile. There we go. Oh, the bar thing's freaking me out. I was like, why is there such a big hole? It went to the blue one, is that one? There we go. I'm almost worried this is gonna come right out. I'm gonna flip it over. Ready? Oh, oh it is, yeah, it's already doing it. Oh, jeez, okay. it just slid out. Oh, because it's angled down there. It's not flat. It just slides. Well, this is the top. The, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, isn't it interesting? Because it, because it, the way it's angled, it just slid right out. Okay. Uh, oh, how does it sit? My finger's going to get crushed. There we go. All right, ready? We'll take one for the team. Oh, that's nice. I can feel what it locked in. Yeah, lift it here. Yeah. Yeah, when it's this way is when it looks good. When it's that way, it looks like it's a huge rope. Yeah, that's when it's straight across, and it's uh. So if we just level that one corner. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Straight. I think. I think it'll be pretty, pretty flush and nice. Okay, so a little, little teeter. Teeter yeah, it looks it's, good though. Like it's. Yeah, it does. So let's address the white elephant in the room, or the gray elephant in the room. This thing is beastly. It is wider, deeper, 
heavier than I expected. In fact, this, we probably won't use this for honey harvesting, and I don't think that this in its current setup would ever be practical for a commercial operation. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, like I mentioned in another video maybe, I think that there are great applications for this, places where, you know, there's, you don't plan to open it regularly, where maybe you just, it's more of a permanent garden fixture where um, people maybe don't even want to mess with the bees. Maybe people who don't like bees, but they like the idea of bees. And, you know, it's it's zero maintenance. If, if you're a person who wants something for their garden or they want pollinators for their neighborhood, this is a really cool idea because you can literally set it and forget it. And, you know, you can go, the other thing is, I was gonna mention is these are shallow supers, which is not as ubiquitous here in the United States like they may be in other countries. So that's, that's another issue with them. Now I did talk to the creator and he said that, that they're thinking about making a medium shallow, or I'm sorry, a medium super. Um, but they're already so heavy and I can see why this, the shallow makes sense. So that, that's a problem. I think we're gonna use this um, maybe in a different way. We've got lots of experiments and tests we're planning on, so it's okay that it's so big and heavy. This is as heavy as it'll get. Now behind me, we have already recast the same setup with Aircrete, and I've already, I'm in the middle of a video for that, so we'll let you know how that goes. So we'll have the heavy option, we'll have the light option, and you know we'll, we'll we'll figure out what the happy medium is so uh, the other thing it, it teeters we didn't properly compress the the yellow lid or top layer that goes on the top of the um, supers or whatever you call these I, I call them supers but that doesn't feel right because they're just kind of different um, and because of that, we didn't get a nice, flat, even edge all the way across. And so it doesn't sit the same. And that's okay. I fixed it on this last pour. I realized what we did wrong. And whenever we go take this to its permanent location, I'll probably put a nice bed of mortar around and set this one flat. Because this one's okay. It's this one that's teetering. And we'll just attach the, the brew chamber to the bottom board and make it one solid monster piece. But we'll literally never need to move it. So... I think that'll be okay, but really we're happy with it. It turned out really great. We love it. Um, we're really excited to continue to kind of refine and hone the process. And uh, like I said, we're gonna have an air creek version of this. We're gonna have a lightweight version of this with the perlite or the vermiculite or whatever additive to, to reduce the weight. And who knows what else we'll come up with, but we will keep you posted. So uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.